Hi, everyone. My name is Kwame Wusukesi, and I'm the proud CEO of the Harlem Children's Zone. And I often say I feel like I have the best job in the world. Uh, I get to be at an institution uh, with so much history and so much legacy, all starting with our, our fearless founder, Jeffrey Canada, who in many ways pioneered the field of comprehensive place-based services. And we've been at this work for over two decades, creating an evidence base that has proven that this work and this model is quite effective. And when I think about the successes that we've had with young people across the developmental journey, it's quite amazing. We're talking about 7,000 graduates from our baby college. We've eliminated the black-white achievement gap in our schools. We have over 1,000 students enrolled in college right now, and over the last decade graduated an additional 1,000 young people with a couple hundred more being added to the mix this past summer. It's really special to know not only the, the direct impact that you have on our young people, but also the impact that we're having in our community. And when I think about our work with Healthy Harlem and how we've reduced our overweight and obesity rates, there's just a real power of place and the power and, and comprehensive place-based services from cradle to career. And when we started this work, the New York Times described it as one of the greatest social experiments. And now I'm proud to be addressing you all today, saying that this is no longer an experiment. We have the evidence base, we have the data to know that this works. This is no longer an experiment. We have found the vaccine to poverty. Again, comprehensive place-based services from cradle to career. But the work doesn't stop there. We are constantly facing, facing new challenges in an ever-evolving context. And I always tell my team, the biggest impediment to future success is past success. We can't rest on the laurels of past successes because if we do that, we become complacent. Complacency leads to mediocrity and then mediocrity leads to irrelevance. So this doesn't mean throw out all of the lessons of the past. In many ways, it's like the spirit of Sankofa. We need to carry forward the lessons and learnings from the past in order to inform our present and our future. There are things that we can build on, but we have to remain committed to innovation in order to have sustained impact for the future. That is the reason why we created the William Julius Wilson Institute at the Harlem Children's Zone. Again, we believe we have a responsibility to leverage the knowledge, the know-how, and the platform in order to help lead the field forward amidst constant change. But this is not a one-sided relationship. We are very much eager to learn from you all because we know how much expertise exists in that room, how much great work is happening all across the country, and again, working in an in evolving context. So we're excited to be in partnership with you all because collectively, what we are able to bring to, to the table will have such a tremendous impact on this country and quite frankly, having global impact. So it's that spirit of, of camaraderie and partnership and mutual learning that we come together in service, in service of a, a North Star that is quite clear. We want to be able to impact one million young people and have them successfully on the pathway to social and economic mobility and racial equity. Now, make no mistake about this. This work is hard. And quite frankly, this work is not for everyone. We understand the myriad of challenges that we have to face. And if you're in this field long enough, you need to be prepared to have your heart broken. The data is ugly. The stress at times seems insurmountable and the challenges continue to evolve and are quite complex. It's actually a type of complexity I, I have never experienced in my life. And it's a, a unique set of challenges. And to add to all of that, we're in a very unique time. Coming off the hills of a global pandemic, the racial reckoning that is happening in this country, and quite frankly, the fight for rights. And while that pain is very palpable, so too is the power of the spirit of purpose and possibility. I am so hopeful for our future because I know the answer is sitting in that room that you all are in right now. We understand the power of place. We understand the power of comprehensive place-based services from cradle to career. So my ask of you all is simple. Let us please not forget the commitment that we have in partnership with one another in order to support each other's work. Because getting it right means getting it right for millions of young people across this nation. 
your presence today communicates to me that you understand that power, and I am so hopeful for the bright future that we have ahead. And while the journey is going to be difficult and there will be different twists and turns along the way, we know the power of our partnership. We know what we set out to accomplish, and we know we will ultimately be successful in achieving our North Star. So thank you for your commitment to this work. Thank you for your commitment to the field, and thank you for your commitment to the millions of young people across this nation.